guys, welcome back to another episode of This is Terry Jones. We are on episode four. This week's episode is vlogging on a budget. I'm gonna actually show you my setup and what I've been using for vlogging versus what we're gonna be using from now on. I decided this time to do my unboxing. Oh, I'm so happy. Lumix G100. I'm super excited about it. New vlogging camera. We're gonna get so many great memories out of this. And this right here is one of the dopest things possible. Reviews, everything's gonna have bad reviews, okay? So I don't need any fanboys and camera people coming at me for giving my view on this. Uh, I can tell you why I wanted to get this camera and we'll get started on that. But what if you don't have the money or the means to get a device like that for vlogging? I'm gonna show you what I did to start my vlogging on a budget versus what we're gonna be using from now on. Every device that you see here, I'm actually gonna have at my Amazon storefront. So you can go to the Team Terry Productions Amazon storefront. And if you wanna get started blogging or maybe even doing a setup for your business, but you wanna do it on a budget, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm gonna have the tools that you need right there. Okay. Here we are. Okay, the moment I've been waiting for. If my hands is ashy, don't judge me, man. We in a pandemic. When I when I look through the camera to do it, see like, see how my hands is moving? You gotta understand this this feels so weird seeing your hands in this angle this close up. Oh my god. Owner's manual. Information. Can't wait to read. In Espanol. Uh, this is this is actually pretty cool because the Panasonic Linux G. Uh, these are the lenses. They have like a lineup of different lenses that you can get. Look at that photo. I can't wait to use this thing. Next. Of course, you have all your uh, all your warnings. It tells you what it contains here. Uh, which I'm excited. I got the tripod bundle, um, which comes with a um, a small tripod. The battery life supposedly isn't that great on here. So you can change the lens, which is why I got this. The Sony, I can't remember the exact name of it. I don't want to mess it up at this second, so I'll just put it in the subtitle here. But that particular Sony didn't have interchangeable lenses. Overall, this was the one that I decided to go with. Oh man, yeah, so this is the tripod. As you can see, you can do your shutter, um, take your photos, you can go ahead and record with it on that button. And then it looks like there's a sleep button as well. And uh, you just take this bad boy like this and go ahead and record. Check this out. It's, it's pretty solid actually. It's more solid than I thought it would be. I hope so ahead and set that bad boy up and you just have yourself a mini tripod if you want to take a picture or do something on the fly man and I think that's that was a selling point for me here and here's the USB port uh, but the selling point for me was uh, this mini tripod you end up spending a lot of money on these uh, tripods anyway like these little ones because this is the new rage I would recommend this man this, this is actually pretty cool what we came here to see. Oh man. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful this camera is. This thing is like it's, you got some decent weight to it. It's pretty small. We're kind of zoomed in, but this thing is smaller than I actually thought it was. And that was one of the big things that people were talking about how powerful this camera is. Look at how beautiful that is. Here's your features. Oh man, there's so many features on here that I'm gonna play with. I can't wait. I don't even know all the features. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to y'all and be like, yeah, you know, this is the feature. This is the feature, man. I'm not gonna be one of those dudes. The other thing that I liked about this was the screen. 
it's almost like a, it's its own case in a way because you can protect your screen by flipping it right there. You have yourself an awesome uh, flippy screen and uh, you can turn it this way. Look at yourself while you have it set up on that tripod and uh, you can shoot like this if you want. Uh, let's say that you just wanna do some regular shooting. You can close that bad boy and go right in there. Dude, there's way too many features. I can't wait to really get this. Um, one of the things that a lot of people talk about is you. there's an app where you can uh, edit directly from your phone. So after you're done taking your pictures and stuff, you can actually go on your device, whether it's a tablet or phone, and go ahead and get set up on it. Here's the features. Okay, here's the battery. Um, this, you can do actual USB charge on this. Which uh, the one complaint, I don't, I'm not a big fan of micro USB anymore. It's just that we have so many of them, but they don't charge them. They don't have like a fast setup. But okay, we have our handle. This feels solid, man. I'm I'm not gonna front. I'm actually happy because you know you don't always get cameras that come with this. So you have yourself a neck strap that you can um, go ahead and uh, put on that bad boy along with your trippy strappy i'm excited to uh use this and we're going to test it out we're going to show the old setup with this brand new camera we got our brand new setup this is actually pretty dope it has this uh really good screen on it every time i talk it's picking up on my voice because this is set up directly more so for like vlogging i got the um the bundle with the mini tripod so this is actually pretty cool so yeah we're going ahead and uh i want to show you guys what my setup was originally that way you can uh, kind of gauge an idea of what I've been doing. Again, this is vlogging on a budget. What I'm using right now is dumb expensive. <laughs> I can take vlogging, photos, everything to a whole nother level and I'm very excited about that. Okay, now for the big reveal. Here it is, this is what I've been using actually. Um, this iPad is one of the newer iPads and the cool thing about the newer iPads they have really good cameras, so if you get a pro, you can actually shoot in 60 frames per second, which 1080p, 60 frames is all you need. Again, uh, like I said in the unboxing, a lot of times they try to get you to think that you have to get this 4K and all this stuff, and if you're not shooting in a movie theater, it's really not that serious. Uh, you'll notice that lens, that is a Zenvo lens. And um, that actually helps your device shoot wider, right? So a lot of the newer cell phones have it where you don't have to do it this way. The reason I like shooting on the iPad, there's a lot of high school sports teams and different people that are using iPads to film directly. And they always end up getting like a cool lens like this right here. Uh, this lens shoots wide and you can also take this you can also take it off and use that micro lens for micro pictures, which I'll show you what that looks like here. Yeah, it's a lot easier to edit directly. There's so many different um, apps and softwares that you can get on uh, iPads. What they don't tell you is the cameras that they use in tablets are the past phone camera. For example, there's an iPhone 10, and what they're gonna use is the last model's cameras in the tablet devices, right? They're not gonna put the brand new cameras, which is why you can't shoot in, which is why you can't shoot in portrait mode on um, a lot of the iPads. Maybe the brand new new models that are coming out, you can because they'll have, again, the last model of the phone's cameras. Also, the comic on mic, man, this boom mic is actually pretty cool. Um, it can be staticky at times, but I don't think it's the mic itself because I'm gonna end up using this with the new uh, Lumix camera as well. One thing is, you know, with the iPad, you have to get one of these uh, adapters right here and uh, to plug it in. So I think that's why the audio can be a little weird at times. Tripod is a mobile tripod. It's really good for phones and stuff like that. But um, a lot of people are saying that you can set up and 
use your iPad for this. The thing is, you really don't want to. It's not always the most sturdy. So, uh, the thing with this is, you want to make sure that you're putting expensive stuff on an expensive tripod because it's more solid. I'm not going to lie, this tripod is actually pretty good. So, um, this is a lot different. So, yeah, you can actually pull this off. You can actually do the same setup with, like, an iPhone. If you have enough memory on it a lot of the newer iPhones have some um, really high quality stuff in cameras the iPad Pro actually shoots in 1080 60 so if you get an iPad Pro honestly if you're gonna spend that much money on something that's where I would say to go um, yeah this camera is cool because I have all the other devices that I need but I felt like to start off with a lot of the things that I wanted to do um, this year that has helped as far as like taking photos, promo photo. So what did we learn today? You can start vlogging on a budget. You don't have to go crazy. As long as you got some good lighting and the quality's good, you can do it directly from your phone or your tablet. Make sure you go check out the Amazon storefront for Team Terry Productions. Link is below. You can purchase these tools to get started on your vlogging journey on a decent budget. I also want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Previlli. Previlli is a gut health supplement. It gave me 90 days prebiotic. That's right, prebiotic, not probiotic. This helps create a barrier around your stomach and create the proper enzymes for your body. The thing with a prebiotic is it can really actually help your mood. So someone like myself who suffers from mental health issues, this is a real game changer and it helps your digestive tract. I'm almost finished with my first 30 days. This is what we're going to do. Follow me on Instagram at tjonespoc. So if you are interested, I will have a link for you to get Previlli. Go ahead and try it. The weather's getting nice. You want to get that body right. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit them notifications. Catch you next time. Vlogging on a budget. I want to see you vlog.